Okay guys, um, I'm getting ready to do my fork seals. Uh, there's a few ways of doing it. Uh, this is simplest for me. This is where a lot of guys have problems because they will um, actually take the forks all the way out. Uh, that means, you know, loosening your triple trees and then you have to worry about your headlight ears, things like, I don't know if you can see headlight ears. I've got clampons here, so I'd have to loosen all this up, loosen this up, get it all realigned. Um, the big problem here is guys will try to take the springs out and everything and try to get these apart and the interior part just turns. So what you really have to do, I have a air impact, uh, but now there's a ton of electric impacts that work great also. The main thing to do here is it helps if you have a friend to uh, push up on the fork that sets the bottom of the damper rod. Um, I don't have anybody here, but um, oops, wrong side. Had to cut off my little tool there. But um, you do not want to push up on the Allen head bolt because when you do that, it pushes the opposite side away and it just wants to spin. So you just kind of have to be creative. And I'll see if I can do this alone here, but I will push this whole thing up, hold it with my arm, let the pressure off, let the pressure off the bolt, and there you go, pops right out. And then you get a big oil mess. But <laughs> nothing new there. But uh, it pops right out. And so that's off. So we lay that down there. And uh, I know these look different than the stock ones because they're uh, KZ750 forks, but it's the exact same thing. So let's pop that off and we'll do the other side real quick. Um, what I was trying to explain here is if you can see, this is bolted into this fork leg. So if you are pushing up on this bolt, trying to pressurize that, it's pushing this away from the inside of this slider. So you're just making it loose on the opposite side when you're pushing it away. So boom, it doesn't want to come loose. That's why you have to pull up, put spring tension on the fork, and then no tension on the bolt, and then the spring will hold that tight. So. We'll do the other side here real quick. I got a word camera, my new Sony on here, so I'm not sure exactly how it's going to show, but we'll give that a shot. Move that around a bit. And again, what you want to do is get your Allen head socket in there. I'll try this again. So, what you want to do is <laughs> this is going to be a little bit harder, but push up, hold the spring with your arm. <laughs> Keep the bolt loose, and boom. No special tools like that. And uh, everything's apart. Now you can just pop the dust covers dust covers off, the clips and the seals, pry the seal out with a screwdriver, carefully pop the new ones in, and put everything back together. So it's really that simple. Um, you get it back together, add your oil through the top now, and uh, you're ready to rock. Simple as that, and you don't have to take a whole bunch of stuff apart. So hopefully that can be helpful for uh, guys trying to do this for the first time.